Today I'm going to be showing you how you can deploy your React application to GitHub. So we all know that there's this command over here called npx create react app. Well, the create react app is the official way to create an application from Facebook. I'm going to show you where the documentation is that you can use in order to deploy your application to GitHub. Pretty awesome and it's completely free being able to deploy your application documentation all I did was click on docs and then from documents over here on the left hand side there's a section called deployment the deployment section if we click on it there's a further menu over here for other categories on the right hand side and the area that we're interested in is github pages so we want to be able to deploy an application that we've been working on we want to show it off to our friends family maybe make it public for the entire world. And this is completely free. So we're, you're already uploading your code to GitHub. Why not make it available for others to see? We're gonna be following these steps to deploy an application. We'll be creating an application here on GitHub, and then we'll be able to see that application deployed. This is an example of an application that I've deployed, and you can see that the URL is a GitHub URL. And this is for my uh, GitHub page so over here, coding with Adam, and then it's github.io, and then the name of the repository that I want to show. So over here, what we're going to be doing is creating a brand new application, a brand new repository that we're going to be deploying into. So this new repository that we're going to be deploying into, we could simply just call it my app if you don't already have one of those. If not, give it a different name, but I'm going to call it my-app like that. What I can do with it is just leave it as public, don't change any of the settings, and just click on create repository. So now that we have this repository created, we don't have any code there yet. So the next step that we need to do is go ahead and actually create a React application. We're going to go npx create, oops, create React app and we're going to call that my app just like that so we'll go ahead and let that run and create our application now that our application has been created let's go ahead and open that up in visual studio code over here type code my dash app and hit enter and that'll open it up in visual studio code I've already opened that up over here on the next screen so on this screen over here I have the application opened up the next step that we need to do that we've created our GitHub repository over here is that we have instructions from GitHub to go ahead and add the remote origin and then to do our first push over here. So let's go ahead and copy and paste these two lines and then we're gonna place those in the command prompt. You could do that from your Visual Studio code or you could do that from your terminal over here depending on which you're more comfortable with. I'm going to do it from Visual Studio over here. So I'm going to hit the control E and beside the number one, hit the tilde and that will bring up your terminal. From the terminal over here, I can just paste in those two commands that I got and hit enter. And here you can see that it's run without error and that it's added that remote origin and also pushed my code up over here. To verify that, we can go back to our GitHub repository over here click the refresh button, and then we'll see that now we had our first commit. With our first commit into the repository, let's go run our code and verify that our application is working. At the terminal that we just had open, I'm gonna type npm start. npm start will start our application up over here. And while that's starting up, go ahead, expand your SRC directory, go into app.js, and we're just gonna make one change or make as many as you like. But in this example, I'm going to modify the paragraph tag to say my awesome app. And I will just save that over there. Confirm that the change has been done. And now we can move on to deploying this application on GitHub. Let's jump back to the documentation that I showed you earlier and we'll be following it step by step. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to navigate back to createreactapp.dev and I will be linking this below directly to the documentation that we're using. 
Over here, I'm going to click on Docs, just showing you how I get this information. So over here, go to Deployment, click on Deployment. And then on the right hand side, there's a bunch of different information for how to deploy to other resources like AWS, Azure, Firebase. Over here, we're going to be using GitHub pages. So that's what we are interested in at the moment. GitHub pages. In order to deploy this, the very first step that we need to do is we need to modify our package.json. We're going to copy this over here and we're going to be adding a home page. That home page over here property that we're going to add is going to be the URL to our GitHub where we provide our username and then the name of the application. Now the name of our application, or at least the one that I've created here, is called My App. So I'll be leaving this just the same by calling it My App, but if your app is named anything else like My Awesome App or Greatest App Ever, whatever you decide to call it, um, this will be your repository name over here. And I'll try and make that as explicit and as clear as I can as I do this. The other way that you can deploy this too, as far as locations go, so you can think of this as every single application I make, I want to make a deployment for it. So you can see all my great React applications or HTML or JavaScript apps. Um, the other way to look at it is you could also use your username, github.io, and use this as your portfolio page. In addition to that, you could also set GitHub up with your own custom domain. So it could be your name, whatever.com. So this is the one we're interested in over here because we're going to be doing it for our repository and for our application. Now this is pretty easy. Just head on into the package.json, which is in the root of your application over here. This element, the home page that we're going to add, the property, we're going to put over here. So I'm just adding it after the version, it just needs to be in the root, the one of these properties. You don't want to put it inside of dependencies or inside a script. It's got to be in the root, this property that we're adding. So we're going to add home page over here. Now, my.username, where do I get that? Well, go back to our page over here. If I want to get my username, and that's what I normally log in with, it's this part over here, coding with Adam. I can also get it from the URL when it goes dot com slash right over there I could just copy coding with Adam copy that part there go back over here paste that in and then the next piece that we need is a slash which is our repository name so I'll get rid of that to show you how I do that the repository that I created is called my app so that's the name that I need I'm simply just going to grab it over here in the URL because a little bit easier than grabbing it here and then at the very end of that paste it so it's codingwithadam.github.io slash my app. That's going to be the URL where my application is deployed. So next, we'll move on to step two. For step two, we're going to go back to that documentation. So let's scroll back over here, go to deployment, scroll down to step two. And for the second step of this process, we're going to install something called GitHub Pages. So gh-pages. We'll be adding that as a dependency, so you can go ahead and just copy this command over here. So clicking this button here copies it onto my clipboard. Go back to your Visual Studio. Now we already have the app running over here and listening for changes and hosting the app on localhost 3000. What we can do is we can click this little plus over here, and that little plus adds a second command prompt. The first one, as you can see, that's where the running our application is. And then over here, the second one, number two, is where I can go paste that command in. It's in the right directory for my application. Paste in that uh, npm install to install that module. That module will be installed into our node modules folder. So if we want to go over here onto the left hand side just to have a better understanding, we could expand that folder. Scroll on down to G, so just scroll, scroll, scroll. GH pages right there. So GH pages is that uh, dependency that we just installed. The other thing that we need to do for step two is add some scripts. So we're going to have a deploy script and a pre-deploy script. 
Now, whenever we run our application, we always run npm start. Well, this is where the start comes from. The start runs our application and kicks it off. But now we're adding a new command. Uh, when we paste this over here, make sure to delete those pluses. Once those are deleted, then everything should be formatted correctly and look good. So the commands that we're adding are a deploy command and a pre-deploy pre -deploy command. When you run deploy, automatically it will run pre-deploy. And pre-deploy will run npm run build. Run build will create a production build of your application. It'll minify and optimize our JavaScript code and make it ready in smaller files so that we can deploy it to a web server. So kind of interesting, the uh, syntax over here is deploy, but automatically it'll first call pre-deploy and then execute deploy. And what deploy does, gh dash pages, so GitHub pages, with the command arguments over here, will deploy our application into our GitHub account. Now that we've done that, we'll be able to move on to step three. Going back to the documentation, we're gonna scroll down to step three. Step three is npm run deploy. What this does is actually deploy our website to GitHub. Copy that command over here, or go ahead and type it in. Make sure that your package.json file is saved. If you see a little white dot beside it, go ahead and click that save button. Otherwise, this will not work. Paste in that command, npm run deploy. Let's go ahead and execute that. Remember, it's going to give you a pre-deploy step, which is to compile our code. And then once it's compiled our code, see over here it says create, we scroll up, create an optimized production build. It goes ahead and creates these files in this directory called build slash static JS and creates these more efficient JavaScript files and CSS files for your application. Earlier we set that home page property and you can see that my home page property has affected this. Normally this just says slash. But because we set that property, now it's going to go to slash my app. Then as the final step over here, it's going to execute gh pages dash d build. And then you can see that it's published our application. Now that we've deployed our application, we can go take a look at it. Back to GitHub. Find your GitHub repository that we had open earlier. Easy to do that if you can go to your root of your application if you're there. If you're in um, your name over here, you can go to repositories, find that repository. So mine was called My App. Once that repository open, you can go to Settings. Scroll down until you find something called GitHub Pages. So this is where we have deployed our application. Here's the URL of my application that we set up. It's the same URL that we actually set up over here in our home page. You could copy and paste this URL here, but this is how you find the URL that's being used. Click on that URL over here, and you can see that our application is deployed. This is live and public and available for everybody to see and use. Perfect for showcasing your applications or even creating your profile page. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it.